Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, let's get into it. So all these changes should be happening sometime in December. First off, we got Ground Zero. This is a new beginner map that will be level locked. So probably for like the first 10 or 15 levels. Beautiful map though. Yeah, I think it's an addition to Streets of Tarkov. This is probably going to help new players for sure. One of the hardest experiences I've ever had in gaming ever was being a new player in Tarkov. This is probably a great way for player retention. Yeah. Although I'll miss killing level 1 PMCs, but you know, that's not too big of a deal. Although it's kind of like a tradition, right? To start Tarkov as a new player and have a really low survival rate. That's like the traditional Tarkov experience is just dying the other players over and over again until you learn. Fun times. But I can definitely see why they're doing this. Next up, we have Vaulting. Yeah, you can finally climb over obstacles in the game. Not sure if it's just tied to certain fences or walls, but it looks cool though. Things like, you know, tables and random objects would be pretty sweet as well. But maybe that's for the future. Yeah, I guess, uh, we don't have to run into, you know, fences or walls anymore. Wiggle or free look up just to kind of get over it. Not having to jump will save a lot of stamina. Jeez. The animation is pretty sweet though. This is uh, going to change the movement meta quite a bit. And this recurl system in the video that I will show you a little bit later. But uh, it's again, it, it's not the final uh, condition. It's not the final. It's a work in progress. So you will see. Uh, the new recoil system is more about, I don't know, like realism, I guess. And uh, we have an issue for a long time that the first two shots with the really big, like strong recoil, and we kind of mitigated it and make it uh, more, I don't know, predictable. So you will see. Also, pretty neat feature called left shoulder weapon transition. It's not like the full uh, transition to the left shoulders with the change of grip and everything. It's more like the quick move your weapon to the uh, left shoulder position. And I will yes, and I will and I will show you the video of it too a little bit later. And the new blind fire animations too, more usable. So this video consists of the new recoil system, the left shoulder transition, and the blind fire. So it sounds like the recoil would be more consistent, predictable, and maybe more realistic. There were already a lot of mechanics like swaying, having no crosshair, weight, that affected you know your mouse aim consistency. This is actually huge for players that like to practice recoil patterns and you know pulling down your mouse a bit down, left, right, whatever it is. Hmm. And we got left hand peeking. Finally. I hope the character model size the enemy sees is the same as when you right hand peek though. That would give you so many more options when fighting somebody. Gotta give it to PSG though. The animations look really good. The shooting looks solid. Oh, and here we got blind firing. Overhead. Right hand. Okay. Oh. So it shoots right wherever you aimed last. Not sure how useful this is going to be, but uh, goddamn, I have too many keybinds already. And uh, this is it for the December patch. Uh, so some of you keep asking about the anti cheat and everything, and actually have a uh, a part of text related to that. So uh, we banned over 10,000 cheaters and RMT traders from October to November. In preparation for patch 14, we're working on analyzing and fixing the most popular vulnerabilities used by cheat developers. So uh, there will be something for them for sure. Like we are, like right now we have a, 
separated part of the team working only on the anti-cheat uh, matter, so uh, yeah, we, 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 we still have something for them, so we, I believe everything will be good. PSG pulled out the big band hammer, and uh, I've actually been having fun in the game. I mean, a lot of anti-cheat would be cool, but band waves are probably way more annoying for cheaters, since they won't really know why or how they got detected. It's also like work in progress, so it's a little bit tweaked, the recoil and everything. Okay. 9A91. It's like an SMG or something? We got the VSK94. These guns are sick, not gonna lie. This VSK94, by the way, it's uh, another version of 9A91. 9x39 ammo. Oh, this gun's gonna. That's gonna be a good gun for sure. Yeah, honestly, I just choose weapons based on the ammo I have available. Just make sure it penetrates armor at least. Oh, you, you, oh, you, you, oh, you, you, RPD. Oh yeah. More loud machine guns, please. <laughs> You're gonna scare the shit out of some people. Uh, especially with how loud it is. Yeah, I got thousands of hours in this game. And there's still a lot of guns I just don't use. Though, so, it seems like they're heading in the right direction. Looking forward to all the changes they're gonna make for weapons and ammo. Real quick, here are the promo codes from the live stream for free weapons, loot, armor, stims, and free rubles. Not sure how long it's going to last though, but get it while you can. All you got to do is go to the Tarkov website and put in the promo codes. Hit submit. You'll get a message from one of the traders and you can just retrieve items from there in game. Oh, <laughs> New achievement unlocked, uh, Silence of the Soul Meal. Oh my god. So now we have more achievements, and goals and random things to work towards. More content. I mean, sure. I don't know if there's any rewards for these, but... Still more stuff to do. I'm hoping there's going to be some funny ones, though. Something like voice line 10 PMCs run around the map three times, wipe the lobby, I don't know. <laughs> or kill everybody while exhausted. Something dumb. Yeah, that's this. You can favorite your weapon to show in your profile. Okay. What is the point? I think he's going to get to it. User profile. Oh, you can you can see achievements from your friends, other players. It's kind of like a skill check, kind of see how uh, good somebody is, maybe. And you can view uh, your friend's uh, profile information and see uh, his favorite weapons and everything. Also. All right, neat. So all armor will be reworked in terms of actual real armor plates and everything. Uh, it, it also means that not only the uh, plate carriers and the armor itself will be changed in that uh, case at all, but also the helmets too. And uh, we added new heat areas of the head. We added uh, like new areas of the body and uh, everything will be more real in terms of uh, actual uh, damage propagation and everything. We also have a video for that and uh, we can show you th this video too. Oh, yeah, it's
So as you can see, uh, the helmet has its own zones, different, and the armor will deplete from these specific areas. And also the armor vest too. So many, many areas, many, many zones that you will need to add the armor plates in it. And they actually cover the exact areas. It's not like simplified model or something. It's like actual uh, colliders uh, of uh, armor plates. So if you shoot somebody in the hand versus on their actual character model where the armor is, it'll do flesh damage. But if you hit the armor, it'll do armor damage. That's pretty sick. I don't know how they did that, but holy shit, that's pretty cool. Curious as to whether or not we have to actually buy the plates or like find them or something. That would be kind of annoying. I hope it just kind of stays in the armor and we just have to repair it over and over again. Like it just comes with the armor. Hopefully all the armor plates don't add too much weight. Like meta is going to become really popular again. Or even more popular than it's war for sure. Nice. Arena's looking good. Got a bunch more presets. Uh, looks like you have to buy them with rubles though. Oh, look at the ranks. Marauder is basically bronze. And then the top 1000 gets special ranks. Sweet. Alright, here's some more arena gameplay. Uh, I think they're introducing a replay system too. Pretty cool. Can they get the point of view of how you died? I think the top right corner is just someone else he's playing with. Replay? Okay. Looks good. What the f is that? Dude got one tapped. Uh -huh. Alright. Arena mode is still in the works. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> still looks like it's gonna be super fun though. It's gonna be a great way to use all our rubles. And literally every wipe with so many rubles. Oh, he's a fucking gamer. <laughs> Jump shot 360. <laughs> Give that man a raise, whoever that is. Alright, kind of excited yeah. for the future of Tarkov. Yeah. Because EFT is not about the fun. But Arena, I guess it's about the fun. Like Bikizi says, this changes everything. The game has been a lot of fun lately. There were months I felt like BSG was dropping the ball, but you know, you got to give it to them. They're making big moves towards a solid, I mean, healthy future for the game. And I'm loving what BSG is doing right now. The uh, developer war versus cheaters will probably, you know, always be ongoing. Hopefully it stays controlled though. Then the content and movement changes to the game will likely have some bugs, but you know what? That's okay. The game is basically a passion project that has been in beta for the longest time, and it's honestly the best game I've ever played. Alright, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and add your thoughts to the comments. What did you think about all these changes? Socials are in the description if you want to follow me for live streams and more content. Peace.